Music legend Aretha Franklin has died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 76. According to her publicist, Franklin passed away Thursday morning at her Detroit home with her family and loved ones by her side. It comes three days after it was revealed that Franklin was in hospice care. Across more than five decades, Franklin's voice belted out songs of change, joy, and pain. A loving mother and a decorated diva, Franklin was most of all grateful for her music, her longevity, and her audiences throughout her career. The Queen of Soul. A disc jockey bestowed that nickname on Aretha Franklin and it stuck. Musical reign that has few rivals. In a career spanning more than 50 years, Franklin recorded 40 albums and put 45 songs on the top 40 charts, more than any other female artist ever. One song became her signature. That chart topper was not only Franklin's first number one hit, but the Recording Industry Association of America named it one of the top five songs of the century. Well, it's incredible. I mean, out of all of this music, please, I just, I could have fallen over on the floor. You could have pushed me over with a feather. Franklin was born in Memphis in 1942, but her musical journey began in Detroit, singing gospel in her father's Baptist church. I had no real formal training. Uh, my formal training was my ear. Franklin recorded her first gospel album at the age of 14, but early motherhood interrupted her career until the 60s. A switch to rhythm and blues and respects monster success in 1967 ignited Franklin's career. A string of top 10 hits, including Natural Woman and Chain of Fools, kept it soaring through the 70s. Yet another classic earned Franklin a memorable turn alongside John Belushi in the 1980 comedy The Blues Brothers. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame made Franklin its first female inductee in 1987, punctuating her musical impact. The United States honors Aretha Franklin. The Presidential Medal of Freedom followed in 2005 and four years later... Franklin, wearing her much-talked-about hat, was the featured singer at President Barack Obama's inauguration. Aretha Franklin had a style all her own and so many career milestones, including 18 Grammys. She had trouble singling one out. Everything. Remember everything. <laughs> everything. The Queen of Soul's musical legacy will take care of that. And details on Franklin's funeral arrangements will be released in the coming days. Meanwhile, in the town that gave her life, many are coming together to remember the singer and her legacy. krk 4s Brad Broder is live this afternoon outside Franklin's childhood home in Memphis. And Brad, how are people remembering the Queen of Soul there today? Good afternoon, Mallory. Well, well wishers began coming by this house in South Memphis on Lucy Avenue in the morning. And as you can see behind me, it's continuing on throughout the afternoon. Rita Franklin, born in this wooden house on Lucy Avenue in 1942, before moving to Detroit. And as you just mentioned, Mallory, starting a decades long career of topping charts and also countless inspiring other musicians. Now, so far today, people have laid flowers. They paid their respect. They've signed those boards behind me showing their RE. S-P-E-C-T for Aretha Franklin, just an iconic singer. She never recorded here in Memphis properly. However, her career was catapulted after Otis Redding recorded and wrote her breakthrough hit, Respect, here at Stack Studio. That's about a mile from this home in South Memphis. Even though she didn't record here in Memphis, her style fit perfectly with the rest of Memphis music in the 1960s and 1970s. She also was on the front lines during the Civil Rights Movement movement and also really uh, really inspired and, and devastated after the assassination of Martin Luther King here in Memphis in 1968. But again, today, fans of Aretha Franklin coming from out of state, millennial singers, life
lifelong Memphis fans coming here to the South Memphis home to pay their respects for that iconic, legendary singer, the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. Reporting live in Memphis, Brad Broders, KRK 4 News. And Brad, we know it's also a big week in Memphis already. Today is August 16th, the day that Elvis died many years ago, and that brings a lot of Elvis fans to mourn his death. It, it's a big day in the city. Certainly, Mallory. We are seeing some carryover. We saw a couple uh, Elvis tr tribute artists as well and some out-of-state fans, presumably here in town for Elvis Week. And again, it is ironic, Mallory. August 16th, not only does the king of rock and roll die here in Memphis, and now the queen of soul, Aretha Franklin, passing away in Detroit. Mallory, back to you. Brad, live there in Memphis. Brad, thank you so much. And as we go to break this afternoon, we want to take a moment to remember Aretha and reflect on the impact she made on the world of music and beyond. Aretha Franklin will always be considered one of the greatest singers of all time, and her legacy will always be with us.